What is going on everybody on the show the remote channel this is Kill Chains and today I'm bringing you guys Punishing Pop Stars episode 10. I believe I'm not too sure but I'm gonna have to check on the title but anyways this is Punishing Pop Stars and today I am playing on against Anza Militia, Google Threat and some other kid and uh, this is a light join 2v3 win. We actually win by one point but there's a few things you need to know about the gameplay. First of all, I don't start. I am using a foul with reflex and stock perks were flag jacket, hardline, scavenger, hardwired, and dexterity. And I do end up switching to a running tune once I realize that Anza Militia is actually using ghost and C4. So I switched to a running tune with long barrel and laser. Um, and my class was um, really was flag jacket, hardline, hardwired, toughness, and dexterity. I don't know why I'm using freaking toughness I should be using something else because you don't need toughness on a Remington but it is what it is like I said this kid's using ghost and c4 and the reason why we struggled so much about this gameplay is first of all they were farming the randoms uh, that's definitely one of the most annoying things when you anti is kids farming the randoms it's really really annoying it makes it really difficult especially when the random team is just as bad as the random team in this gameplay you will see at the end these kids do absolutely horrible and I mean it was I'm really shocked that we actually won this. I said we win by one point, really clutch win, so that's basically that for the gameplay. But today I wanted to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts and what are your guys' expectations for the game. As a player like you and I like you know what I'm saying, yeah. I'm just a typical COD player, you know, I I'm just waiting for Ghost to come out already. You know, I'm, I'm not too hyped, not too overhyped, you know, just average person. Some people are really hyped, and that's one thing I want to talk about today is Call of Duty uh, hyping. Should you be hyped or should you not be, you know? Because that's one of the problems it seems every year. Like, people get so hyped for Call of Duty every year. Like, I remember Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern for 3, and now this year again. It's, it's, you know, it's a COD cycle, obviously. People get so hyped about a game because it's broken, there's so many problems, and a lot of people like kind of realize that the game's going to be apparently awesome, but it's actually not, because they, they get everyone to realize like, all the bullshit's going to come out in a new game. Like First of all, the connection usually is a big problem at the start of the game, and people tend to judge it early, so I think that you shouldn't be too hyped about a game. Uh, this year, especially with Call of Duty Ghosts, which could save or destroy potentially the Call of Duty gaming uh, overall because you know BO2 was a flop. Uh, a lot of people didn't like Mono for Free because of the stupid head detection, including me. Um, I didn't like Mono for Free too too much due to other reasons. I'm not gonna go in depth in that, but they kind of banned me and well not banned but reset. So like I said, I'm not gonna go in depth to that. But, Mono for 3, I had some serious hit detection problems uh, on my side. I know a lot of people didn't have. But the thing is, in Mono for 3, I used to have a horrible internet connection. In Black Ops 1, I didn't have too much of a problem playing bo one because you didn't die so fast like you did in Mono for 3. So, yeah, that's the big issue I kind of have with Infinity War games, and a lot of people I know have, is the time you die is ridiculous in Infinity War games. I think a lot of people have seen that in Ghosts so far, that, you know, like those uh, streams that people put out. Uh, you die so fast in that, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how people kind of react in the first night. I, I'm expecting actually some Twitter wars and some just people raging at freaking Infinity Ward, whoever the community manager is, like Tina, whatever. But she didn't give a fuck about the community anyways last time, so I don't think she's going to give a fuck at this year either so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be Infinity Ward versus the players and it's gonna be really really weird because Infinity Ward typically doesn't really, just, just doesn't like what's in the community in general so yeah that's basically for that don't get too hyped that's, that's basically the main, the main tip I can give you guys is don't get too hyped about these new Call of Duties every year it's gonna disappoint you in the long run. Like I think with this year especially, that could be a factor of why people say that this game's dead. I mean, I don't think it's dead, but 
you know, people just took it too seriously and got too, way too hyped this year because Final Fantasy 3 was apparently terrible last year. And they got so hyped again yeah, this year that they were just disappointed in general. So, what do you what do you want more? I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Just don't get overhyped. Don't, just don't hype yourself. Just expect average COD game. I mean, that's, that's the most you can have. That's what I do. I, I just don't want to be disappointed anymore. But uh, something else I could talk about, <laughs> I don't know, I should just let, it, uh, let the video run here and just stop c commentating and just let, let you guys have the game audio, but whatever, I'm going to keep doing it, I got like two minutes left, not even, so let's keep doing it, so basically, you know what, fuck that, I'm out guys, so all the links will be in the description as always, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, and if you're not already, be sure to subscribe, and I'm out guys, peace! Friendly UAV inbound. A halting, hostile counter UAV is online. Point is on. Hostile UAV above. On the move. We are losing this fight. Hard point identified. Failed.